So cross-border payments, right now, it's a very, very slow, expensive system. Alice, if she's customer one of bank one in first country, and Bob is customer two of bank six in the second, in the second country, then they need to find uh, a, a linking banks, correspondent banks, and all of the AML KYC checks for legality of payments have to be done. There's lots of delays, lots of frustration. If you've ever made a payment uh, across border uh, using banks, I'm sure you know what I mean. And stable coins have a potentially important role to play here because they can make this much simpler. CBDCs can also uh, simplify cross-border payments. This is the MCBDC design that's currently being implemented by Thailand, Hong Kong, the United Arab Emirates, and China. And this uh, diagram, uh, which is adapted from uh, Project Lithanon uh, initiative at Th the Bank of Thailand, shows how a Thai bank, a customer of a Thai bank might get a payment done to a customer of a, of a Chinese bank by exchanging CBDCs in a special corridor for exchanging CBDCs uh, of the two countries. And that I'm not gonna give you the details, but, but basically there's an exchange of CBDCs with some foreign exchange liquidity provision in this corridor. A lot of people, when they talk about cross-border payments with CBDCs, they're thinking of you know, China's uh, ECNY CBDC circulating inside Thailand. Most cross-border CBDC payments will not be like that. They're not going to be one CBDC in one country from one country circulating inside the payment system of another country. There'll be some of that, I imagine, but I think there's going to be international agreements by which at least the largest uh, and most responsible central banks will, just as China's central bank has said, we will not be invading the monetary sovereignty of another country doing currency substitution that would be considered a very, very aggressive uh, attack effectively on the monetary system of another country. Uh, certainly the United States, I'm pretty confident, is not going to give people all over the world accounts in the US central bank, indirectly or indirectly. Now there will be cross-border payments with CBDCs at some point involving corridors like this one or uh, involving exchange of a CBDC at the border with a fiat currency in, an, in another uh, domicile. But I don't think we're gonna, except for a few exceptions or bad behavior, I don't think we're gonna see CBDCs widely circulating in other countries. Dollarization is not a, gonna be uh, an accepted policy 